Hello and welcome to this blog post. As you can see today, I have a glamorous assistant and I'm just gonna put it out there that if you hear any strange noises during this recordings, not only have I got Freddie sat on my lap, I have uh, old snoring Sid uh, sat on the bed opposite me. So as ever, professional, uh, just how we like to keep things here. Um, today I'll be sharing with you it's the last part in the best trilogy I've ever read by one of my favourite authors who I'm really, really lucky to narrate all of her audiobooks. This is the third part in Joanna Craven's West Country trilogy. How beautiful is that cover? I know I'm gushing a bit. <laughs> but basically, Jo's a really awesome author and always gets beautiful, beautiful looking books designed. Um... I'm going to read to you the back of Wild Light. So yeah, this is part three in her West Country trilogy. It's actually a four part trilogy because it's got a prequel, <laughs> which I believe you can listen to for free. Um, that's called Moonshine. Maybe send me an email if you're interested in listening to that and I'll find out. Sorry, Joe, I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> I'll find out for you how you can listen. Uh, but this, Wild Light, part three. Isaac and Scarlett Bailey's attempts to escape the let me start that again. <laughs> Isaac and Scarlett Bailey's attempts to escape the smuggling syndicate have left their lives in pieces. Isaac's children are missing, and Scarlett's battle with the darkness inside her has just become far more difficult. As the search for the children escalates, long buried truths begin to surface, blurring the line between myth and reality, enemy and friend. Home is no longer safe, and risks must be taken. Their only option is to escape no matter what the cost. I'll read to you... Oh, Joe's drawn me some pictures in the front of this book. Uh, but as I got into so much trouble last time for sharing the pictures that she drew in the second part of this trilogy, I'm not going to share them. I will, however, tell you that one of them is of Savage Garden. Yeah, a little bit of 90s fantastic for you. I'm going to read to you the first... chapter... Maybe the first chapter in a bit. Let me see how I feel. Uh, so this is the first couple of pages of Joanna Craven's Wild Light, part three in her West Country trilogy. Dreaming. Her fevered dreams are like this. Drowned sailors and haunted hills and the shadows of giants screeching at the sky. She is back in the cave, hearing the sea behind her, feeling herself fall. Scarlet cries out. The sound sends the sea and the cave away, but the world is still as dark as a barrow. She tries to sit. Her head is thudding. The blackness makes everything unsteady. Footsteps come towards her. Scarlet? It is Flora's voice. She feels hands on her shoulders, easing her downwards. Stay still. Where am I? Scarlet's breath is loud in her ears. Fast. Frantic. She gulps down air feels as though she is drowning. We're at the inn, says Flora. Pain sears Scarlet's head as she moves on the pillow. She remembers it distantly, the footsteps in the sand behind her, the sudden splintering blow to the back of her skull. Light the lamp, she coughs. I can't see. Sounds break through the desperate rattle of her breath. Birds, hooves in the street, the muffled sigh of the sea. There is a strange warmth on her cheek that must be fire or sun. She reaches into the dark. Light the lamp, she says desperately. Please, light the lamp at once. She feels Flora's hands at the tops of her arms. Lie down, Scarlet, she is saying. Lie down. Somehow she sounds both close and far away. Light the lamp, Scarlet says again. But her voice is faint and fading. There is pain in her head and an invisible sun on her cheek. She lets herself sink back into the bed, lets Flora smooth the blanket she has entangled in her terror, and the fear that engulfs her is hot and sharp as she blinks and blinks again, and still she sees nothing. Actually, I'm just going to read you those two pages, because at the moment, if you've read books one and two, I haven't given anything too much away that you didn't already know. Um, I don't want to risk any more spoilers. Um, I can't tell you how fantastic this trilogy is. I felt 
quite a deep loss inside me once I'd finished recording them and I'm desperate for Jo to finish her next book, which is not going to, sadly, uh, involve the adventures of these beautiful characters she's created, but it does sound equally amazing. So um, do yourself a favour, check out Moonshine for free if you haven't already, it's the prequel, it's only quite short, um, and then help yourself to this gorgeous trilogy, the West Country trilogy. You can listen to it on Amazon, iTunes and Audible. You can find me, actor, narrator, writer, um, dog mum, Rebecca McKernan on Facebook and Twitter at Becca Tells Tales and also at RebeccaMcKernan.com. Thank you for listening. Short and sweet today. Wishing you, hang on, what day is it today? Monday. It's not really, it's Friday, but I'm posting this on Monday. Hoping, hoping you had fabulous weekends uh, and paradoxically I'm off to enjoy mine. Have a wonderful day. Speak to you soon. Thank you for listening. Mwah.